This video will show you how to use Dean's Cubes to add two three-digit numbers together. The addition I'm going to solve is 263 add 119. As I'm using Dean's Blocks, I must put the correct blocks on the correct numbers. So in the ones column, I have got 3 and 9. This means I must put 3 blocks on top of the 3 and 9 blocks on top of the 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the tens column, I have got 6 and 1. These represent 60 and 10, so I must use my rows of 10 cubes. I must put 6 on top of the 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1 on top of the 10 to show this. In my hundreds column, I have got 2 and 1. These represent 200 and 100, so I must use my blocks of 100 cubes. I must put 2 on top of the 200 and put 1 on top of the 100 to show this. First, I must add the 1s together. This means getting the 3 cubes and adding them onto the 9 cubes. In my answer box now, I have got 12 cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. As 12 is a 2 digit number, I can't just have that in the 1s column. I must exchange 10 of these cubes for a row of 10 cubes. So I'm going to count out 10 of the blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Take those away. Now I've got a row of 10 blocks. Because this can't go in the 1s column, I'm going to put this at the bottom of the 10s column to remind me to add it in the next step. So my answer in the 1s column is 2, because there are 2 blocks left over. Now I must add the tens column, the six uh, rows of ten blocks here, onto the one row of ten blocks here. Add those together with the one row of ten that was left over from before, and that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As there are eight rows of ten blocks, this means I need to put eight here to represent the eighty shown by this arrangement here. Finally, in the hundreds column, I've got 200 add 100. This gives me 300, which I show by writing a 3 here. This means the answer to my addition is 382.